Without religion, would the world be less violent? This question has been asked for centuries, but according to William Kavanaugh, who serves as a professor of Catholic studies at the University of Chicago, for some people dispelling the myth of religious violence can mean a new chapter where they let go of being enemies. Paola Bismara is a professor of church history at the University of Milan. She says that even though it's true that the church took part in the Inquisition, censorship and control, that, she says, is part of history. In modern society, religious violence is but a small part of a much bigger picture which greatly benefits from religion. For the first time, Shiite Ibrahim Shamseddin from Lebanon attended the Rimini meeting. He says that religion is never the source of violence, since one cannot judge a creed by the behavior of a single person. As an example, he talked about Osama bin Laden. The problem arises, he says, when fanatics combine their religion with politics. As a Russian writer, how exactly did Dostoevsky see the world? From icons to divine humans and the reincarnation of a higher being. These themes are all part of his work. Also included is just how wicked mankind can be. From his art to his literature, his work reflects his personal perspective. And whether it's hell or paradise, it's man who decides which door to open. That's what happens to Raskolnikov in Crime and Punishment. It follows the theme of changing oneself and also the world, or of getting trapped in a vicious cycle. Sonia, who represents the Virgin Mary, exemplifies how one can respond with good. It's the idea that people, by changing themselves, can ultimately change the entire world. Really, man must do nothing more than this. And for a deeper understanding of his work, Professor Cascatina says that more than just studying, students must create a connection with the work. The text can be understood only with someone who talks to you. Some of the discoveries that are on this exhibit have been the results of Russian and Italian students. By working independently, they found things that I had not reached with my hands, eyes or mind. Hey. Italy's summer heat can be quite challenging even for people who like warm weather. But still, some people attending the meeting have taken part in a non-competitive walk along the countryside. It's a challenge that continues every day here, where enthusiasts and sometimes just fans come together to test their physical endurance. Everything from beach rugby to mental games like chess.